hello everyone uh, hope all of you are doing great uh, this video is being made at the request of my uh, brother and a friend who is uh, preparing for the MDCAT exam uh, from Punjab Pakistan so this video is about how I got more than 95% score in the MDCAT of Pakistan more specifically from the Punjab and uh, from the University of Health Sciences uh, patterly known as uh, UHS so a uh, little bit background about myself i am a, a doctor physician currently working at a very prestigious institute in uh, united states of america uh, i did my mbbs from punjab at a very highly uh, distinguished uh, medical college in lahore so to begin with i had very good marks uh, during matriculation exam uh, afterwards, uh, during FSC, my scores were uh, not very good. Uh, they were not exactly very bad, but I don't think uh, they were up to the part to get into a very good uh, government medical college. So I was really disappointed at that time. And uh, when uh, the MDCAT uh, exam was coming up, I was really distressed. Uh, at these times, uh, my brother gave me really hope. He pulled up the merit list of uh, the last year of Burnham Medical Colleges and I noticed that even uh, with my score people have been in the uh, King Edward Medical College, the top rank uh, medical college in the state of Punjab. So uh, that gave me some courage and uh, I knew that if I performed uh, MDCAT really well, I can even uh, go into uh, King Edward Medical College uh, very easily. So in interest of time, I will just talk about general things about my preparation uh, style and uh, we will talk about uh, specific things in a later video. So I belong to a small city uh, closer to Lahore and uh, once uh, I was done with my FSC exam, the question was whether I should go to Lahore uh, to study in KIPS or Star Academies, big names uh, at that time, or whether I should study on my own or in a smaller uh, academy in my city. My father urged me to go to Lahore and all of my friends were actually going and every week when uh, they will come back uh, to my city, they will ask me questions which only I think Einstein could have answered. Uh, these questions were given to them by the uh, academy people. Uh, but to be honest with you, uh, this exam is just cramming. I stayed in my city, I prepared there and I excelled. I took much more score than my fellows who had uh, similar scores with me in uh, FSC but they didn't perform very well in um, MCAT uh, and the reason was I stayed at my place. So I would encourage you not to go in another city, sit, uh, sit tight, uh, uh, prepare in your own city. If you have any KIPS Academy, STARS Academy, great. Uh, but otherwise don't panic and just give the exam in your own city. So besides uh, UHS held MCAT, I also gave uh, AMC, Army Medical College exam, nurse exam and Khan Medical University exam. Uh, and I excelled in all of these uh, entry tests. Uh, so the basic difference in all of these except for Khan, which is really a conceptual uh, MCAT, all of the other exams are just cramming. If you have crammed all your books, there is no doubt that you won't excel in these exams. So I literally crammed out all of my books, English, Biology, Chemistry and Physics. Uh, so in the last one month, I knew that it is very crucial uh, month and uh, whatever I uh, retain during this one month will be helpful for me exam in the exam. And I had to try really hard. This one month uh, would define the next uh, phases of my life. So uh, I went into complete isolation. Uh, I uh, discontinued all the social media applications as well as uh, I was not hanging out with any of my friends nor uh, not even texting them. So it did help uh, actually. Uh, many of my friends asked me if, uh, they, uh, if I want to do group study. Uh, for me, I thought that it's not very helpful. When two teenagers uh, sit together, uh, they can never study. So I uh, respectfully declined. Uh, I am kind of a nocturnist. I uh, adjusted my uh, sleep wake cycle in a way that I will uh, sleep during the whole day and wake up at night and study all night because there won't be any trouble at home. Nobody will be disturbing me at home. So uh, 
uh, that's how I uh, did the next one month. Uh, I ate healthy food uh, since I was uh, reading at night. I didn't have the time to go out. So I was just staying at home and eating at home. Uh, one uh, thing is don't listen to anybody. People will say your scores are low. You don't uh, uh, you won't be matched in any of the uh, good uh, universities or uh, good medical colleges. Uh, uh, if you have very good scores, they will tell you do not study very well. I would say irrespective of whether you have good scores in FSC or metric or not, study hard because entry tests can change your life. Uh, it can change your scores and percentage. And I have seen people who have uh, topped uh, boards of Lahore and Gujranwala and they didn't got admission in any of the government medical college. In the same way, I have seen people with very low scores or marks in the FSC and they get matched into uh, King Edward and Alama Iqbal Medical College. So uh, don't take this exam really light since it will redefine your life. My other advice to the people who are going for this exam is to uh, do a lot of questions uh, because uh, all you will get in the exam is MCQ. So uh, whatever MCQs you can get, whether it's in the form of a grand test from STAR or KIPS Academy or whether it's in uh, some KIPS Academy books, do a lot of questions. Uh, it will help you sharpen your brain and it will uh, tell you which uh, portions of your uh, books are weak so you will have to strengthen those topics again and again and most importantly it's just an exam it's not like the end of your life so don't panic keep calm and try your best even if you don't get accepted into a medical college uh, there are other opportunities in the world as well uh, that can sharpen your character as well as your life so that's all for tonight's video. I will be making more videos for MCAT students regarding uh, exam day. And also uh, in the case you don't uh, get accepted into medical college, do let me know in comments which other topics you want me to disc uh, discuss. And please, please, please subscribe and hit notification button for more upcoming content for your medical studies journey. Thank you.